It's time again for The Insiders with Chuck Kuala and Scott Jensen, sponsored by the Wisconsin Counties Association and the Tommy G. Thompson Center on Public Leadership. Hi, I'm Chuck Kuala, former Senate Majority Leader. And I'm Scott Jensen, former Assembly Speaker. We're The Insiders. So, Scott, one of the biggest political events of the year uh, outside of the election itself is coming to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. The Republican convention is coming to Milwaukee. Obviously, great thing for Milwaukee, great thing for the state of Wisconsin. What's your take on the convention and uh, the impacts for Wisconsin? Well, the impact for Wisconsin is going to be great. Um, I think it's, you know, there's lots of people coming here, lots of money going to get spent here. Um, there's going to be a focus on the state. Good stories will be told all over the country about what a great host Wisconsin was for this convention. Um, and that'll help us in the long run. That's why I think it's a it's a bipartisan host committee, as it was when the Democrats uh, were scheduled to be here as well. So um, I hope this all works out really well for Wisconsin. As far as for Trump, I think the goal here at this convention is really to broaden his appeal um, and to deepen his appeal. So uh, by broadening his appeal, I think, you know, he'll announce who his vice presidential pick will be. Um, you'll get a chance to meet that person. Um, you know, everybody knows that this is pretty much just a coronation of Trump, but they got to like give you got to have a show. Right. So the show will include the, a new character, whoever the vice presidential nominee will be. Uh, we'll get to hear a lot about that person. Um, I think you're going to see that they're going to try to highlight atypical Republicans, people that you wouldn't have guessed were supporters of Trump uh, at the convention um, and to try to help broaden that appeal. And then you're going to hear some rhetoric that is clearly focused on a crowd of inconsistent, conservative, working class voters, black and white. Um, there's a group of voters who agree with the president, President Trump, um, on the issues, but they just feel like the system, it doesn't matter if I vote or not. Um, I'm really busy. I've got two jobs. There's always got, they always got a reason not to vote. This election... President Trump and the Republicans need those folks who share their values to show up and vote. We see them in the polls, uh, the polling. Now we need to see them at the polls uh, in the fall. And so that's, I think, the two things that they're going to try to do is broaden the appeal and, and uh, stoke the enthusiasm among people who agree with President Trump's agenda. Well, you know, the, the problem for Republicans is that they talk about, you know, prices going up, but they have really no answer to what they will do to change that, frankly. They're, they're, so the problem is for the Republicans, they really don't have an agenda that actually works for that working class. They're certainly not supporting of union members who, you know, would benefit from a prevailing wage, which was eliminated under Scott Walker. So they've got a lot of problems reaching out to that base and, and getting that base to vote from beyond the basics that, hey, you know, I'm not Joe Biden. But but it is a great thing for more. That's a good start, period. though. I'm not Joe Biden is a good start. Go ahead. <laughs> so let's but let's say this. I think it is a great thing for the city of Milwaukee. It's a great thing for Wisconsin. And I'm happy to join in that chorus as, as Scott was ready if the Democrats were going to have their convention there um, some years ago, although we got sidetracked by COVID. So I think that 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 is a good thing for Wisconsin. It's great to have them there and for them to be educated about what a wonderful city Milwaukee is. Oh, by the way, didn't Donald Trump say something about a horrible city? Not a good move for your candidate to be saying, but it is a great city. They're going to see a lot of good stuff, uh, hopefully Brewer games and all sorts of fun things. So with that all being said, what about the Trump thing? Uh, you know, nobody on their side can get away from MAGA. No one is allowed to be a dissenting voice. And right here in Wisconsin, Mike Gallagher said, I've had enough. I'm getting out. Paul Ryan, who is the vice presidential nominee, never has Wisconsin been so high up in the political universe as when Paul Ryan ran as lieutenant or as uh, vice president for the United States on the Republican ticket. He is not voting for Donald Trump. There are lots of problems in the Republican MAGA world because it's only a MAGA world. And that's the big problem. Talk about Liz Cheney and others that are out there, conservative Republicans who are not there. So what's remarkable to me is how right now Democrats are pretty divided, but Republicans are rallying around MAGA. And I am I'm going to be surprised to see if a MAGA candidate like Donald Trump is able to win in November. But we're going to see a convention that I'm sure will do the things that Scott said. And I will be interested to see who the VP is because I agree with Scott. I wouldn't be surprised to see that announced 
next week because they want to stay away from interrupting the Joe Biden show that's going on out there right now. I think that's right. And as you know, Chuck, conventions, a good convention, a successful convention is one that's about unity. Everyone is behind the nominee. So any fireworks here should be on the lakefront and not inside the convention center. Um, and I think that's what's likely to happen next week in Milwaukee. Well, it's going to be good for Wisconsin. We'll see you next time, folks. You've been listening to The Insiders with Chuck Walla and Scott Jensen, sponsored by the Wisconsin Counties Association and the Tommy G. Thompson Center on Public Leadership.